Hi everyone, welcome to Things Lucy Reads, I'm Luce. So, these are the books that I got in April that were not um, bought at the closing down sale of my local bookshop. Okay, so the first three books I'm going to show you are ones that I had on lay-by. The first book is The Ice Dragon by George R. R. Martin. Um, I've actually already read this, so you will hear about it in my wrap-up. And then the next book I had on lay-by is Firefight by Brandon Sanderson, which is the second in the Reckoner series. The first one is called Steelheart. And then the last book I have is The Great Zoo of China by Matthew Riley. I've never read a Matthew Riley book before, but a lot of my friends and, and a couple of people on booktube really, really like him. And I've heard nothing but great things about this book. It's about dragons, but apparently, like, they're explained. They're not just kind of there and the logic is oh well it's a fantasy novel it can have dragons blah 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 they're like they're like explained and and justified and stuff so that sounded really cool to me um and the end papers are this this map and it's got like a size guide for the dragons and the cover of the hardback looks like this which is so cool so i'm i'm actually really excited to get to this and to find out what the buzz about Matthew Riley is all about. The next book I have to show you is a beautiful Barnes & Noble leatherbound classic and it is Dracula by Bram Stoker. I've been wanting to read this for a long time but I wanted to have a really really nice edition of it. I didn't want to have just like a penguin one or whatever because they're nice but they're kind of plain you know. Um, so this is the the new Leatherbound Classic Edition. There was another one that just had the name going down like this in big letters and it was red or, or whatever. And I didn't really like that one. And then I saw this one and just absolutely fell in love. So yeah, I got it. And the back is really nice too. There we go. And that's the front. And then that's the, the spine. It's got a coffin on and the pages are silver. If it's glaring a bit, that's because I haven't taken the plastic off yet. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really excited to finally, finally read this and to have it in such a gorgeous edition. And the next book I have needs no introduction. It is A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab, who is also Victoria Schwab. Okay, so I didn't pre-order this book because I just don't pre-order books in general. I wait until the release date to buy them. But then it kept getting out of stock on the book depository and it, it would be in stock when I didn't have the money and then when I did have the money I'd go back to check and it would be like $30 dollars I was like oh my god but then um, I looked for it on Booktopia and they had it in stock and it was only $15 and so I grabbed it right away. I haven't read this yet but I'm so excited to get to it everyone seems to love it I love the Schwab and the main character his looks are apparently based on Lee Pace and I am definitely here for that that is my jam. The next book I have is The George's Wife by Elizabeth Jolly, which is the third in a trilogy. The first one is called My Father's Moon, the second one is called Cabin Fever. Um, I haven't read either of those yet, but I wanted to have the whole trilogy in matching editions, and now I do. The next book I have is Precious and the Monkeys by Alexander McCall Smith, which is like a prequel book um, for the number one ladies detective agency series. Um, and I've already read this one and it was so cute and I will talk about it more in my wrap up. And then the next book I got is A Visit from the Goon Squad by Jennifer Egan, which was on sale at BW for $5. They were having a bit of a clearance, so I picked it up. Um, my good friend Anna really, really likes this book and told me that I should be reading it. So I picked it up and I think this cover is really cool. The next book I have is Hold Me Closer by David Levithan, which is the like a sequel slash companion novel to Will Grayson, Will Grayson. Um, I was so excited to find this in BW. My BW is not that great. It doesn't always have a lot of the new releases when it should. So I was just there one day randomly and I wasn't even looking for this. I wasn't expecting to find anything, but I walked down the book aisle and there it was. So I grabbed it and I read it straight away and I just, I loved it. and. You'll hear about it more in my wrap up. And then the next book I have is The Apprentice by Tess Gerritsen, which is the first in the Rizzoli and Isle series. I mooched this from my friend Hayley on Bookmooch. Um, yeah, I wanted it just because it has the TV cover and it's got, yes, beautiful, beautiful Rizzoli and Isles on the front. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, apparently the books are really different from the show, so I'm not sure how I'm gonna like that, but 
the cover's pretty. And then the next book I have is Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover. Um, I read Ugly Love and really, really enjoyed it. And I was trying to find Slammed, except it's like $18 everywhere, which I hate. And you can't get it at BW and I had it for months. And then when I wanted it, it wasn't there anymore. So I'm really, really upset about that. Um, but this was on Bookworld for like $13 and I had like a coupon, so I used that as well. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really excited to read this. It's about this girl who kind of has a thing for a guy who's a musician. And so Colleen Hoover collaborated with a musician to make the songs in the book real songs. And you can go online and listen to them. And I just think that's so cool. And yeah, I'm, I unexpectedly really enjoyed Ugly Love, so I'm really excited to read this. The next book I have I got on eBay, and it's Carmilla The Return by Kyle Marfin. This is a sequel to the novella Carmilla by J. Sheridan Le Fanu. Um, Le Fanu? I'm never sure how to pronounce that name. Yeah, I read, I read Carmilla last year, and it was pretty good. Um, it was more funny than it was anything, because just the... It was written so long ago and the writing was so funny and just the, the relationships and the way things were expressed were just hilarious to me. Um, but yeah, this is this was written quite recently in the 2000s, I think. And so this will hopefully be a little bit more modern and a little bit easier to get through. And yeah, um, they made a modern day web series of, the, of Camilla. I will put a link to it down below. If you haven't watched it yet, you need to because it is hilarious and it's so good and you'll just fall in love with every single character and it's <laughs> and it's so great um sorry flu season and then the last book i have to show you is mort by terry pratchett which i bought on ebay for seven dollars this is it's not the first discworld novel i'm not actually entirely sure what number it is but it's the first one with death and death is my favorite character so i'm gonna read all of the books with death in it first before i read any of the others i think because i just i love him he's fantastic so yeah um i bought a lot of books in april a lot and i'm doing better this month which is good so yes my haul for next month will be in one video and it will be short so excellent um that is all from this video and i will see you when i see you bye everyone